Hey guys, what's up? It's Stephanie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have yet another thrift haul. You guys already know the drill. And I just want to address some things before like we get started or whatever. And I hate this lighting. Like I don't... No, like I just don't know. I've gotten so much stuff over the last month and also I've sold a lot of it. So anything I've sold, I'll try to like insert a picture so you guys can just get the full spectrum of everything. I do list everything on my Depop before I'm able to film a YouTube video. I'm the worst YouTuber ever and ever since I've moved to Nashville I've been slacking so hard on my YouTube channel and that's just because for a number of reasons. One, I'm busy. Two, I'm not sure what I want to film like since I'm like an artist and doing singing like singing singing? Since I am an artist I obviously want to incorporate my music and everything into my YouTube channel and I'm just trying to figure out how to do that and like what I want to film and everything. Not only is this a huge thrift haul, I think it is one of my best thrift hauls ever. I've been finding some amazing pieces and I cannot wait to show you guys. Also, make sure to go follow me on my social medias. I'm most active on Instagram, so make sure to go follow me there. Honestly, I don't use Twitter and I don't use Snapchat, so just follow me on Instagram. So the first thing is this men's shirt from the men's section. It's just one of those like golf shirts and I feel like this will be a very popular popular trend in 2019. Maybe not, but at least for me, like I just love the stripes and the colors on it and I also like just love the collar. So it'd be really cute if you cropped it. Next thing I got for myself is this cat shirt. I have no explanation for this, but I just thought it was so cute and there's cats and then it's like their butts on the back. If their butts weren't on the back, I definitely probably would have not gotten this, but I may crop this and it may just be like a cute little like crop top with some mom jeans or something. I'm talking, I want to talk to you guys about my music. So I'm hopefully going to have music out in 2019, which is so, ex so exciting. Um, I don't really like genres or want to be put in a genre, but if I had to tell you my style of music, it'd be like indie pop, some kind of pop, like I'm not sure exactly. I have a lot of blues and jazz influences on my voice. Don't even know how because I did not grow up listening to that. But that's what I love and um, if you follow me on Instagram, you guys will see me post covers, some songs, like what I'm doing. Next thing I got is this pair of regular mom jeans. They're just the vintage ones and pretty high waisted. They actually fit me very well. They are a little bit more flared than which I'm not the biggest fan of, but I'm going to be distressing them, like cutting the ends off and um, adding some butt rips in these for a photo shoot. So I just got this super fun pair of like track pants. They have, just have a little triangle detailing in the front or the back. This is what the front looks like and they just have neon green down the sides. Neon green is super on trend right now. And I thought this would just be fun with like a crop top and some sneakers. You know, on this yesterday and it was such a find. It is just this vintage coca-cola actually i don't even know if it's vintage but it's just this coca-cola um windbreaker type of jacket it's not like a jacket but it's like a pullover and it has some gray color blocking on the side and sleeves oh that's cool i didn't even know it zipped up and this super cool color blocked long sleeve t-shirt it does have a double lining in it which is cool just that little extra pop of color i'm such a fan of also these primary color trend Oh my gosh, I'm matching like obsessed with this jacket. It's just this bubblegum pink with a blue kind of cotton candy bubblegum. This reminds me of cotton candy. Lining on the inside, it's just this like 80s windbreaker. I think it'd be really cute for like an outfit just to add some color to it. So I picked up these Adidas track pants. Really cute with like a Calvin Klein bralette and matching underwear like sticking out of it and a crop top. But I tried these on and I'm flooding, flooding? Is that the word when it's like too short on you? I don't know, but these are so short on me. I definitely think they are a kid, but we're gonna try to make it work. Picked up another pair of vintage track pants. The pockets are out, but I just like the little neon green and little pocket detailing on the side. These would be so cute with a pair of sneakers again. This shirt is kind of scary. When I thrift, I try to find, like, look at things and be like, oh, I like this, but this is so out of my comfort zone. But since it's only like three or four dollars, you can experiment with it and 
if you don't end up wearing it more than once, it's okay because it was only four dollars. Like Bella Hadid or someone would wear something like this, but so crazy and scary. But I want to experiment with it. The sleeves are a little bell and it has this um, scrunchy material. You guys can't see. I don't even know how to describe this. But like picture this with like a little mini bag and like mom jeans and heels or like sneakers because that's what I wear. Okay, that was everything that I'm keeping for myself. Now I'm diving into this huge bucket. This is going to be a long video. Like get a snack if you haven't already. These yesterday, these are a men's eight, but they're just all white Adidas superstars. They were like 10 bucks, which is so great. These are listed on my Depop if you guys are interested. Interested. And yeah, these are great find. These I got for myself, but then I realized like, um, actually you're tall and you have long arms, so this is not going to work. But just picture like someone by four, really cute, like little petite girl with like these and like mom jeans and sneakers, little tee. This would be so cute cropped too. Um, it has like a little collar and everything, which I think is so cute. So got, um, a little boy's Tommy Hilfiger one. This would also be so cute cropped. Actually starting to pick up a ton of guy stuff. I always look in the guy section. Lately here in Nashville, it's just been popping and I'm trying to like incorporate both genders into my Depop and haul. This jacket is so sick. It's just this vintage Steeler one. The NFL patch right here and then also it has the Steelers patch right there. This is what the front looks like. I don't know. This is just like a great guy jacket. It's a little too oversized for me. I just found this men's champion long sleeve tee. I think this is a newer tee actually, not like a vintage one, but still cool because champion is super on trend right now. Next is this woman's windbreaker. Not too much going on with it, just a navy and a more teal blue. So to keep you so warm in the winter though, it is pretty thick um, and the brand is Teton. Definitely from the 80s. Just a cute little woman's windbreaker. So I have this little Tommy vintage shirt. Just says Tommy jeans on the inside. And there's some cool color blocking down the sleeve. And then it also just says Tommy jeans on the back. So I have this super awesome yellow Harley Davidson t-shirt. Looks like this. It's a super fun yellow t-shirt. Also, I feel like this has only been worn like once or twice by the previous owner because the quality is so nice and it feels so new. I just have this pair of vintage Tommy Hilfiger jeans with a Tommy Hilfiger patch. These are in a men's size. They're a men's size 32, but with like a belt since the belt can go through here, which this is kind of coming off. So that's great. I just realized that. I have this um, a little Adidas shirt. This I actually bought off a of Depop and then... I got it and it wasn't exactly what I want so I relisted it on my Depop but this is so cool. If I would have found this in the thrift store I would have like died. Purple guess letter blocked or what I don't even know what that's called but sweatshirt it's so cool. I have so much stuff. I also have this amazing USA men's color blocked windbreaker. Just has yellow, black, and then blue. This is my favorite part of the jacket and the back. Isn't that so cool? This is such a cute men's sweater. Someone go get this. It's just this tartan plaid blue and green checked men's sweater. You cannot really tell. Oh, there you, there you go. So Rick says, hi. Have another pair of vintage Wrangler mom jeans. These are amazing. I don't know. Do a drive with me playlist soon and breaker for you you have one so this one does have a little bit more detailing just like a green and navy this one's also pretty decently thick on the inside too oh my gosh my camera's gonna die this graphic was kind of cool it says Egypt on it and it has some like ancient Egyptians that is not the right term for them I'm so sorry cardigan is really cool like I'm a fan of this it's not a cardigan wears this is such great quality this is such a thick cardigan as you guys can uh, whoa as you guys can tell this detailing is so sick it's really awesome and then the back just looks like that too so found two vintage Columbia or I don't think they're vintage but two Columbia jackets my friend stole one of them and he stole a racing t-shirt but I do have this one to show you guys this one's not as stylish but it was $5 at the thrift store. It's more of a longer one, I think, meant for skiing. I think there's supposed to be an inside part attached to it also, but there's not. 
but yeah that's awesome okay, this one is just a vintage quarter zip hoodie thing I love the detailing how it has like extra lining in it it's just for the top to give it a little bit more pizzazz I cannot believe I just said that word. Got some stripe detailing down the sleeve. So dope. Definitely from the 80s. Some awesome color detailing. And then the back looks just the same. It has matching pants with that same pattern down the side. I mean, this would be a look if you guys wore it together. Picked up this really great dark or medium wash pair of mom jeans. All that they're mom jeans. The rise is longer than your hand, so there's a tip. So this one's about, um, I would say this one's probably about... 12 inches. I found a, another black pair of mom jeans. It's denim is very thick, very great quality. Are pretty straight leg. Last but not least, this is a pretty good item to end on. I feel like champion green hoodie. I think this is newer version champion. Um, definitely not old. And it just has a little champion logo right there. So all that I just showed you will be listed on my Depop, so make sure you guys go check it out. So please, please, please go follow me on Instagram. It would mean so much, and I'd love if you guys would keep up with my life that way. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Mess.